Alright guys, I'm here with a bit of information for Dragon Ball Legends. So, the jump scans have finally surfaced online. Though we did get some of the details of it last night, thanks to Ryo Kutia, but today we have the scans, so we can actually see what's in it. But even so, it's actually kind of weird because we don't have the scans this time thanks to DBS Hype, which is really weird to say, because it's usually DBS Hype giving us images, but this time around, it's thanks to the Twitter user Saiyan Pochita. Hopefully, I said that right. Uh, definitely go and check them out on Twitter. But it does confirm that yes, we will be getting a brand new Sparking Nappa, which is actually a first because we don't. Well, no, we have Young Nappa as a Sparking unit, but I digress. And of course, we are getting Kaioken Goku, the old blue unit from way back when, as the next Senkai unit. So there aren't solid translations apart from what Gorsh has said on his community tab on YouTube. So that's what I'm going to use as the translation for this scan. So if we just focus on Legends, it says, Legends, blue transforming Kaioken Goku is getting a Zenkai Awakening. Doesn't specify what his Zenkai ability buffs, I'm assuming, you know, what his buffs are. And of course, a new summonable blue sparking Nappa is coming. He specializes in being a melee attacker. He's able to draw cards via his green card and unique abilities. His blue card is the break cannon, and it does more damage by destroying strike cards that you have in your hand. Okay, now, there's not really much to say about Goku, right? Although I do think him getting a Zenkai Awakening is a good thing, like Gore said, it doesn't really specify what his buffs are, his Zenkai buffs uh, specifically. So we're just gonna leave that at that because there's really nothing else to really speculate on. But in terms of Nappa, one, it's really good to see a sparking Nappa apart from young Nappa that we got for free. <laughs> like, I don't know why this Nappa wasn't really available from honestly day one, because wasn't the purple Vegeta day one unit too? And I know we had EX Nappa, but still, like, there should have been a Sparking Nappa. Anyway, that's besides the point. So, the very first thing with this Nappa is the fact that he specializes in being a melee type, so we know he's a melee unit. Uh, two, he's able to draw cards from his green, uh, yeah, draw cards from his green card and unique abilities. And based on the extra portion of uh, this translation, it's leading me to believe that that ability is going to probably draw strike arts cards right now granted there is the probability of him just drawing any random card right but because of the last portion of this translation when you know again which says his blue card the break cannon um and it does more damage by destroying strike arts cards it's leading me to believe that the special skill card will more than likely give you a strike arts card which i mean in truth like as as long as it gives you another card that can continue your combo, that's personally fine. But if there's the one particular card that would aid in dealing extra damage uh, if you use your special move card, then that would be even better. So it could be either or. I'm leaning towards it maybe being just for strike arts, but if it's just any card in general, that's not really a bad thing like at all, right? Now, we do know that this Nappa is a blue unit as well. And I think that's a great thing because personally speaking, I really don't think Saiyan Saga has a solid blue unit. Actually, there's a lot of element factors that they're kind of lacking on, right? Like they don't really have a solid blue unit. They don't really have a solid green unit. And in terms of purple units, you do have Zenkai Vegeta, but I mean, I don't really see people utilize him in battle like that at all. And we did just get Yajirobe, and I've actually seen people utilize him fairly well. So he could maybe be the purple unit for now. I, I don't, I don't know. But it's good to see that Saiyan Saga Z is starting to get a few more buffs, right? But how well this will hold up, I have no idea. But then again, we're also getting the free Cyberman too. And again, based off of what Toshi said during the video and stuff, the Cybermen are going to be solid units. So maybe they can fill the gaps of the element factors that are kind of lacking for Saiyan Saga Z. But again, only time will tell. I wish there was a bit more details on everything else concerning this, but fortunately, that's really it. But then again, I mean, this is going to be like a Legends All-Star banner anyway, so there might be, actually no, there more than likely will be another unit that pairs up with Nappa, but 
who knows who knows but either way though that is the v jump scan not really a crazy scan this month but at least we do know the next working unit and the next zenkai unit as well so i do want to know you guys' thoughts in the comment section below are you guys actually happy that they're finally buffing saiyan saga z or are you kind of indifferent about the entire thing again let me know in the comment section below but with that being said i'm Kuba. like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video